Hey guys, Matt with TNJ here at MNR to go over another quick tip. Today we're going to be going over t-shirt loading. Now a lot of people have been doing this for a long time, but a lot of shops have a lot of turnover, so it might be helpful to help show a new employee uh, a couple different methods to doing this. Uh, there's a few different ways we're going to go over. I'm going to go over uh, up, up, front up and front down for a front print. Those are the two most common that I've seen. Uh, there are literally dozens of ways to, to go about loading a t-shirt properly onto a pallet. So at the end of the day, whatever works for you effectively and efficiently is the right answer. We're just going to go over the two most popular that I've seen. Um, before we get into that, I want to talk about what we're using. Today we're on an MNR Sportsman EX. Um, this has built-in lasers, which help you actually with your center line. Uh, I still do recommend drawing a center line on your pallet tape, uh, just to make sure you have the center line, because with this press, when it indexes, it drops, so that center line with the laser may be a little bit off, and some presses don't have that laser. So it's always good to draw your center line, and this one is going to be eight inches in, straight down the center, that way I've got a good uh, center line point to go down. Also want to talk about good uh, pallet tack. On this one, we're going to be dealing with a water-based roll tack, so it's going to be a spreadable adhesive they put on this, it's going to have a nice tack for long runs. You can use spray tack, web tack for fleece and hoodies, uh, also double-sided pallet tape, which is going to be sticky on both sides. Sticks to the pallet well and has a tacked adhesive already ready to run. Uh, whatever holds your shirt on the platen, so as it indexes and it goes on other, other uh, screens, it doesn't pull off or skew the print and ruin registration. Uh, make sure it's not too tacky. Too much tack can cause problems when you're actually loading your shirt, it'll get stuck on there uh, and that will slow you down. Uh, it's important to also make sure, especially for the new employees, that we don't emphasize speed. Uh, speed will happen. You're going to be able to get to the point where you can run 300, 400, up to 700 shirts per hour effectively, but not your first few. So worry first about making sure you've done it right, and then speed will, will happen over time. So I'm going to go over uh, the way that I was taught how to do it and the way that I still do it most of the time is uh, I'm printing the front, so I'm going to work with the front side up. So it's important to make sure that our stack of t-shirts, it may be on our right, maybe on our left, depends on where our dryer unload station's at. Um, I don't know how much space we have to put our shirts. But also make sure that you don't have this too far away. If you're doing, like I said, 400, 500 shirts per hour, hour over hour, day over day, week over week, having too many extra steps can really start to cause some body problems. So we wanna make sure to avoid any extra motions and try to be as ergonomical as we can with this. It'll also help with those efficiencies and speed. So I'm going to have this right here next to me so I don't have to really do anything other than turn my torso. I'm going to grab the shirt. When I do this, I'm grabbing to the edges and making sure I'm getting it stretched out. I'm going to do a little quick shake, make sure it's all, any, any lint on there is off. And when I'm doing this, I'm looking and trying to fixate my eye on the center line of the shirt. So I do this, fixate my eye on the center of the shirt, and now with that line I drew on the palette, I just run that along with the center spot I fixated on. Run it straight down the platen, until I catch on my shoulder seams. Now, if it's this one's pretty squared off, if it was a little bit crooked, it would still be okay because I know that the back is centered. So I'd go ahead and just grab my shoulder seams and just pull the top so it's centered as well. Back was centered, bottom centered, now top is centered. Now I know it's a centered shirt. I'll do that again real quick. So once again, we're going to just take our hand, run it taut, shake it out. Fixate your eye in the center of the shirt. Run that down the center line. Shoulder seams. Pull it straight. Flatten it out. It's that simple. Now, the other popular way that I've seen is the reversed. Now, this one's still a little new to me because I haven't done it as often, but I've seen a lot of shops do this very effectively. So if you're running the front, you'll have the backs actually up, and they do a, a quick little flip motion. Uh, so for this, all we're going to do is take my right hand onto the inside, pick it up and run my hand over and flip. Shake it out and the process is the same. Look for the center, find it, pull it down that center line, shoulder seams, straighten it out, flatten it. Now shirts are going to have sh different seams, so this one does not have side seams. If you do have side seams, it will definitely help for new training, it's kind of like a training wheel, right? You can load the shirt and then you can actually feel where those seams are. No seams here, but if there were, I could take my hands and look at my fingers and go, okay, I hit a seam and compare where on my fingers they're hitting. That's going to be a good way to make sure you are straight. Uh, one thing to note on as well is that sometimes you'll see shirts that might already have a center crease or a fold in there. You can try to rely on that a bit, but I would not say that's always the best way to go. Those might be slightly skewed, and so if you run through too long, trusting the center line, other end of the dryer, they might call you and say, hey, you might have misprinted 10 shirts because it's totally skewed from the center line. 
So don't rely on that. It's always best to, best to go ahead and figure out how to actually grab that shirt, pull it taut, and find that center spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and demo what this should look like if you're doing it correct. This is gonna be running at a six and a half second dwell time, which is uh, not super aggressive, but usually a good standard for what we see in print shops. So I'll go ahead and load this one up and we'll start sending it around. Pull it taut, straighten the top out, and we're good to run. So once again, take it, shake it out, find that center, pull it taut, straighten the front. Once again, I'm not taking any steps. I'm trying to make sure I keep it close to me and try to make sure I'm not wasting energy. Pull it back. There we go. And pull it straight, shoulder seams, and there. So as you can see, you can get pretty quick with this. It's just a matter of practice makes perfect time and time again. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave some comments below on how you like to load uh, and make sure to subscribe for more videos. Great, thanks and happy printing.